welcome to a psychic medium, Tony Green. Um, I am the psychic medium, Tony Green. I will be doing an hour of answering questions live on the air via phone calls and YouTube chat. If you would like to watch the show and you're on one of the podcasts, yeah, podcast, uh, you can watch live every Monday or Wednesday at uh, Monday at noon and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are essential. So let's get to it. Please don't get scammed. Don't fall for anybody um, reaching out to you, telling you you need something or pretending to be me. The only way that you can connect with me is on my website, tonig.info, or um, my business number. Um, if you did call in, or if you would like to call in, the call in number is 845 277 9131. And please don't forget to hit the one on your uh, number pad if you have a question. So that's what I have for you. Now I'm going to get started with answering questions. Hey, J.A., how are you? Um, Amy's here. Rebecca's here. We have some callers here. It's going to be a good show, everybody. Um, I'm going to right away start with songs because I'm hearing songs. Now the song can be a song you know they know or you knew they knew or the answer to a question that you may have. So the first song I'm hearing is <laughs> tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. If you still want me, oh my gosh. How old, seriously, how, how old of a song is that? If you guys think, I'm, I, let me just say this. If you guys think I'm just like, I would never think of that song. Okay, the next song is, and remember, this can answer a question. See, here I go. They're here, the energies. I'm good. I'm going. Um, these songs could be a song you love, they love, you listen together. And when I say they, I mean your loved ones on the other side. It could be a song that answers a question that you have about life, love, career, finances, any and or all of the, the above. Um, the next song is, it's raining men. Hallelujah. It's raining men. Okay, that's all I'm going to sing of that one. And yes, please, I know I can't sing. If you're new to the show, everybody knows I can't sing. You are not making an amazing, astounding revelation by telling us that. We all know this girl can't sing. No need to allow announce it. Okay, okay, we cover that. Um, the next song is... Um, Da, uh, da to my eyes. I that's that's all I can sing of it because that's all I'm getting. But if you know that song, you know it's it's for you. The next song that I am getting is Purple Rain. Um, the next song that I'm getting is Yay Nothing But a Dog. <laughs> and I'm laughing because sometimes they just jump in and they start singing it. And I don't know what's coming out of my mouth when that happens. Um, and the last song, the very last song for right now is, um, they're actually arguing over who's going to send the song through. So I'm just <laughs> giving them a second, not arguing like they're, I guess, yeah, the, the, I have a full house here, folks. So, yeah. Um, the next song is, uh, okay, I'm just hearing T Tina Turner. Tina Turner. And then somebody is showing me Donnie and Marie. So I hear Tina Turner, and then I, they're showing me Donnie, Donnie and Marie. So those are the songs. Now I'm going to go into names. Now, this could be your name, a loved one's name, or a loved one on the other side's name. 
if the if it's your name is your name and if i say a name it could be more like if i say the name robert or roberta which i'm hearing um if there are five people that know a robert or roberta it could be for all of them so i'm going to just do names and i'm going to try to do it very quickly because there's so many people on the call log and in the chat and yes you can put questions in the chat i will get to them as soon as i can um, and then I'm going to also be getting to the callers. And again, if you would like to call in and talk, um, 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Brent and then Brett. And then I'm hearing, the, uh, I'm seeing the name C-A-I-R-O. Now, I, I'm also hearing Kiera. But that is, those are two different names because the way that is, I well, those are two different names. Then I'm hearing the name Jocelyn and Peppermint. Um, and it, again, you know, once I heard Cinnamon and then it was somebody's father's racing horse or horse was named that so from now on it, you know if i hear something i just say it because it's going to mean something to somebody and that might might have been the name of a puppy or a turtle or i don't know what but if i hear it i say it and i'm going to do just a couple more names but then they all whew, whew, <laughs> um they come at me whew, to get their name okay betty betsy mary Marianne, um, Lorenzo, Lorenzo, um, Chaco, um, Mitzi, Minnie, L O C H I T A, Lochita. I have no idea. I'm going to do uh, the next name I'm hearing is Doug. And then I'm just Penny. And then um, Miss. No, I can't say it. I uh, Mr. White, whatever that is. Okay, I'm done with names. I am done with songs. I'm going to do a little channeling throughout the show. I'm going to try to channel the answers as much as I can tonight. I'm going to let them come in and speak it for you. Um, because I've, I've known for a very long time um, that I am supposed to like a channel channel, like straight up channel. And uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to integrate it more in for every, everybody. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to bring this back to here right there. I think that's where everybody begins. Hey, let me rise. Hey, uh, Laura, J.A., Kavita, Jess, thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you, everybody who has called in. 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. Please call in if you have a question. If you don't, uh, if you don't want to call in and you want to post it on YouTube while we are live for an hour, um, please post it. Please remember this show does air on TV stations. That's why we're limited to that hour time. So uh, just be aware of that. When I call your area code, please tell me your first name and where you're calling from and then have one exact question available for me and I, or if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side i just need the first name of your loved one their relationship to you whether it's a friend father aunt whomever it is and then if you have a direct question for them give me the question right away okay here we go 111 what's your name and where are you call him from Hi, my name is Trish. I'm calling from New York. Hey, Trish, how can I help you today? Thank you for, for calling in. Um, I was wondering if you were picking up anything about a change in finances. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Now, okay, so here's again where I'm going to say, you know, sometimes spirit can be a smarty pants. And when I say, you know, ask an exact question, what do you really want to know? Let me know what you really want to know. Because if you just want to know, is there going to be a change in your finance? They're saying yes. And they're not going to give me more because what you ask is kind of what you get. But here's what I'm going to say, because if you're being elusive or secretive, they're figuring you don't want that information out. They're not figuring you're trying to make me figure everything out and give you the answers. So Trish, I'm going to say, yes, there is a change in finance. And I'm going to give you one opportunity to change that question if there was more to that answer that you wanted. Okay. Will there be a positive increase in finances okay thank you for asking that um and putting it in a a more exact way because i'm going to tell you you know it's not me <laughs> it is not me it is them and whatever you ask them they're going to give you that direct answer and they don't they're not always like the most uh i have callers that have been listening for years and they'll say when I need the truth, when I need it blunt, I, I know to come to you because they don't they don't play with you guys. They're not going to mess with your lives. They're going to give you the truth. Okay, Trish, the answer is it's going to be up and down. Yes, there's going to be a bump in your finances, but you they're they're saying um they're saying a lot, but I'm I'm not going to put it all. The way they're saying it is a, a couple of different ways. First and foremost, yes, you're going to have money come in. It is more. It's a little more. It's not as much as you want it to be, but there is something coming in. Now, what they are saying, if you want to have more money, spend less. I think they're talking to both of us, Trish. <laughs> I think they're talking to both of us. You stop it. You just hush now. You don't, You just don't understand spirit. Um, so what I'm going to say to you is yes, but be, um, they're saying be conscious of your spending choices and um, don't like if you if you're expecting or you get a little bump in income, let's say it's a one time thing. Um, don't find a way to make it to, to stretch it out. Um, but if it's a like, let's say a bump or an increase in work, it's it's uh it's just not going to equal out to as much as you thought it was going to. Whatever this is, it's not going to be quite as much as you thought it was. So manage it appropriately. Okay. Are you, I need to ask Got you it. a question, Trish. Are you expecting, I, I know this is weird. Are you expecting a, a lump sum? I am. And is it from an inheritance? No. Okay. I feel like, and I'm just going to say this, if this is not for you, I apologize. And I hope it's not for you because that means you would have had to lose somebody. But somebody, if it's not you, somebody's going to be receiving an inheritance. I just keep hearing something about an inheritance. Something, I just keep hearing the word inheritance. The lump sum you're going to get, Trish, is a good amount, but it's not going to be quite as much as you expect it to be or you're hoping it's going to be. But they're saying manage it and or, and, or make it, make it, um, they're, they're so funny. They're saying like spread it out and they're showing me like spreading Nutella on a piece of bread. Like you're going to make, you're going to have to spread this out. Like don't. Don't go hog wild with it. But the other thing I'm hearing, Trish, if there is an inheritance coming in, I'm so sorry for your loss, but that might be something that comes a little bit um, down the line also. But um, again, I hope not because that would mean that you've lost somebody you care about. Okay, love? Right. Okay. Thank you so much. You are so very welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day.
Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, I am going to go to. Uh, Okay, again, so you guys, if you want to, Laura, can you give me a person you want to connect with? And I'll be happy to do that again for you. Um, uh, let me rise. May I please have a message from my mom, Sonia? Yes. Um, let me rise. Sonia, your mom, the first thing, I'm seeing water, like a, a shore a shore and water and then near what looks like it would it's not mountains but like a cavern or something like that it's not like a long sandy beach so if you're familiar i'm gonna actually scroll down from where i am right now and I would like you, let me rise, to confirm if you're familiar with that for your mom. Um, and then, okay, so the next thing that I'm getting is, um, okay. Uh, the next thing Sonia would want to say, or your mom, your mom would want to show you uh, or have have me say, I, because I'm seeing something, I said show you. But there are big birds, like they're not, um, they're not seagulls. Maybe they are seagulls. There's big birds flying in the sky over this seashore type of place okay then the, okay so that's what i have for for that vision she's showing me that should be some sort of confirmation for you um if you're not familiar with that ask family members they might know about this this might even be from her childhood or from her younger years or your younger years whatever it is okay the next the first thing that she would want to say to you um, is you, uh, she's singing a song, you are so beautiful. So that is a message. And then the next thing is that there is going to be something coming into your life within a month. Is it within March? No, within a month. And it's going to be something that uplifts you. And whatever this is, I see, um, I think if you're working on your abilities, it's going to be something with that. I feel like what I'm seeing is uh, that. Um Oh, let me rise that. Okay, so let me let me rise that. Uh, sounds like something I painted. Thank you for the confirmation. So she, she's watching you. She's watching you. And she's there with it. Uh, you have something coming in. Thank you. Let me rise for for also for confirming. Um, you have something coming in within a month. It's it's uh, going to surprise you. I don't know if you're working on your gifts. I don't know if you're working on, um, and your gifts could be your paintings, but it's going to up level. It's going to up level for you. There's going to be a huge up level for you um, in that. And whether that means if you sell your paintings or your abilities of painting, whatever it is, there's going to be something really very nice for you coming in. I hope uh, that was good for you. I hope that helped you, let me rise. Um, so please, uh, and, I, and of course she loves you. And of course she loves you. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you'd like to put your question in, you can join us live on YouTube 
and uh, put your question in the chat. And here we go, 610, 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sonia. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. How are you doing, Connie? I'm doing good. Thank you so much, Sonia. Sonia, I'm sorry. Sonia, how can I help you today? Yeah. Um, actually, I had spoken to you a while back. Um, and I've just um, you know, made a conscious decision based on that. But I don't know if you remember, but I had called in about, um, I guess, my partner eight years had cheated on me mm -hmm. in, um, in September. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was dealing with that at the moment, and you know she has. I guess she reached out for my birthday. She sent me a letter, a little package, and the end, some text. The last text was like, you know, you're not talking to me, and I hate that, and it does not like you, and I'm not responding. So it's just like that, but. In that process, I've been doing things, and um, I am in the process of lifting my home or selling, and my goal is to move down to Florida. Oh, you lucky that. Um, uh -huh. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm doing boxes as we speak to get rid of some of her stuff, which that's, I'm going to be um, cutting it to uh, storage and then contact her to come and collect it because it's really bothering me that she still has stuff here. But anyways, mm -hmm. my question is, um, how do you see how that whole process is going? Because I'm kind of prepping my home and we going to target sometime in June to list it. Um, yeah. How do you see me, how do you see things going for the whole sale process and, and the, the price I want and what does it sound quick? Like, what are you, anything you're picking up about that at all that would be very, very helpful for me? Okay, so a couple things. The first thing about the home, it's going to list, it's going to sell, it's going to go very quickly. It may even, it's going to do very well on the market. I'm going to leave it at that. You're going to find a place, uh, make sure, hmm, make sure you know the biggest, the bigger thing, the, the listing the property and the selling it, it's, it's, it's going to do well. But the bigger thing I'm hearing for you is make sure you know exactly where you want to be in Florida and make sure you know, um, the like uh what the housing market is there if you plan on buying and or renting so no make sure no no wherever actually you're... i'm gonna i'll be very close to family i'm gonna rent for maybe six months right. or so take right. my time not rush it and then buy i'm not rushing any purchase i want to rent the smallest place as possible okay uh, and then put yeah. the rest of my stuff in storage okay and i feel like here's what i feel like for you and I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to tell you once you get to Florida, it's going to be a game changer for you. You're going to do really well in Florida. And it's almost mm, like I want to say you get a do over or you get to re, you know, re restart is the word they're using. And you're going to have a lot of fun there. You're going to have a lot of fun, but, you know, keep it, keep it sensible is what I mean. I don't know why I, you don't seem like the person who goes off the heavy oh, end, <laughs> but, but sometimes, oh, no. like, when we, sometimes when we get around certain family members, we can be a little cha-cha-cha. But anyway, um, what I'm hearing is you're going to, you're going to do well. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a lot of fun. And when you get there, make sure you uh, hit the ground running also. Um, and if you do see something you like, be a little bit aggressive, but don't go over budget on it. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for that. Um, as far as your ex and putting things in storage, I would see if there's a better how can I say this? I understand you're a very good person and that's the way that you want to do it. And that's a really good way to do it without having communication. I love that. You need to make sure it's for one month and one month only, and you don't incur 
any other cost than that. And it's not your responsibility after a month and don't feel badly about anything after that. Okay, sweetie? Yeah, that was my plan. Yeah. Um, I was going to do two months, but I'm like, why should I? Because nope. I have to pay administrative fee, all the labor to pack it in, to make the trips and move it. And then I have to buy a padlock. So I'm paying all that. I don't want any money back from her. I don't even want to talk to her. Yeah, I just good. wanted to leave me alone. That's yeah, I want. absolutely keep it like that because it's going to be very... Anything you know, anything that you give or do is a hook that will, she'll think is an opportunity to come back. So keep it, no communication. You're doing all the right things. I love that you're making the move. It's going to bring, it's going to like, what I see is it's going to center you and empower you. This move is okay, love. Right. Do you see me getting um, a bit above my asking price? Because the house is in top-notch uh, um, shape, and I've spent a lot of money in upgrades. Yeah, what I'm getting is it's going to do very well on the market, meaning I don't okay. know what your asking price is going to be, but I'm hearing it's going to do very well on the market. Okay, sweetie? Okay, uh, hopefully I'll get my asking price or a little above. <laughs> I, I think mean, actually, you're gonna... I'll let you know. My asking price is, is, is four twenty five. That's my asking price. I think you're going to get more, um, but the the more you want, the I think you're going to get a little more than what you're asking. That's what I'm hearing right now, okay, love? Okay, thank okay. you so much. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day, and thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go to a question on um, on YouTube, and um, here we go. Uh, J.A., I'm wondering if there's any messages for me or advice. J.A., can you um, do me a favor? And again, um, just make it an exact question about an exact thing, because people don't always love it when I just spew out advice for them. I know sometimes people say, oh, just tell me anything they want to say. And then, you know, people get a little bit offended by that. So um, while I'm on the show for it to be the most efficient for the callers and to answer the most questions for everybody, just an exact question about life, love, career, finances, whatever it is, and or a loved one on the other side and that's the best way and I know not everybody likes that but that's just the way spirit works with me while I'm doing the show okay um I am uh, who was the next caller 610 I think it's 610 610 what's your name and where are you calling from Actually, it's Sonia. I was just listening oh, in. You just okay. Reading. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Sonia. Okay, I'm now. I'm gonna go to the next caller, who is. Uh, sorry about that, Sonia. Three five two. Three five two. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's Matthew. I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> How are you today? Hey, Sonia. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Matthew, how can I help you tonight? Yes, I want to talk about uh, free will. Yeah. What is it? And I, I know us humans have free will, but what about animals? Um, Give me a whole nine yards. Yeah, you know, animals. So humans have free will, which means we can make choices. Animals, to a certain extent, their free will comes in. This is what I'm getting. I've never, I love this question. Um, animals also have free will. So domesticated animals or animals that we keep in our homes, it would seem like they don't have as free of will, but prior to coming in, they, we and they have made an agreement to pick each other and what's going to happen. 
And so when they come in and they are in our lives, they've already made that choice, their free will choice to be in our homes and in our lives. And oh my gosh, I have the most goosebumps right here. Um, and then they also can have free will while they're with you of, you know, how they behave just like a child does. And that's, and how much they learn or progress just like, kind of like a child. So yes, animals also have free will. Now animals out in the wild, they have what we would think is more free will because they're out there and like they can go any place and do anything. But it's much like humans where animals follow their flocks or their groups. And they, most of the time, wherever they start is kind of the area they stay in. They stay within their like animal tribes also, like a cyclical family unit. And they have um, those choices. So if you look at like a lion family or um, a gorilla family in the wild, how they kind of interact is the same way in some sense. Don't come after me, folks. I'm doing the best I can with the visions I'm getting and the, the way it's coming through. Um, it's kind of like a family dynamic for humans where they may go through situations but they it's not like an animal in the wild like a lion is going to leave and head off to Italy let's just say or a different part without its tribe it'll stay within that tribe and have its free will within that family tribe unit so Matthew I always love and the same thing like they're showing me like for for um, dolphins, like, and ocean creatures, again, you know, you have your schools of fish, oh, wow. and they all have their, they can have free will to go off, but they probably wouldn't because they want to stay where there's groups of numbers, and that's such a crazy great question. <laughs> Matthew, thank you so much for that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, nice that. Okay. Totally, uh, this afternoon. Oh, of course. Anytime, Matthew. Anytime. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Anytime. Okay. All right. Thank you, Matthew. Bye, Tony. Bye, bye. You have a great day, uh, Matthew. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, I'm gonna go to. Uh, Um, I'm going to go to the next, uh, question. Uh, mm, scrolling down a little bit. Um, thank you. Uh, just wondering if there is any messages for me. Okay. So we have a lot of people in the chat just wanting any messages. Again, I love giving messages. It's a little easier if you guys would just give me an exact question because it, that question when i ask that question it also gives me permission to get into your energy so i know kavita and ja both are asking can you just give me a general message so i'm going to ask you guys to um please uh put it in the form like an exact question just so at least i have um something to start with and go from there Hi, Tony. Do you see Katie coming back to me um, and agreeing to work together to host my classes, even though they are a bit controversial? Um, is Katie going to go back and work with her on the classes? No. Um, I feel like if you, okay, so I'm going to put the, the question on the screen for everybody. I feel like if you want her to come back, you're going to have to change a few things, but she's also going through something personal, personally. She has something personal going on in her life and that is part of it. But I feel like she feels like she, 
She's also uh, the statement that I would get, and this isn't a good or bad descriptor for her. She's a bit particular and she likes things to be in the way she likes them to be. Um, I'm not going to say she's very controlling, but uh, if she can't do certain things in her way for the program, classes, events, whatever it is, then she feels like uh, maybe she doesn't want to be a part of it. So I would say start looking for someone else who is more in alignment with your vision and with your goals and is in agreement with your classes, feels like, yeah, this is really needed. Let's do this. And that will be a better fit because they'll be um, more excited about working with you and getting everything put together. Okay, that is what I have for you. First name, last name. I hope that is helpful. Okay. Thank you, Jess, for that compliment. I think the next person is going to be... Um, I am going to go to, I, I can't remember what the last number was, but I'm going to, oops, I'm going to go to, uh, there we go, 516. I think that's 516. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Kavita from Long Island, New York. Hey, Kavita. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Hey, Kavita. How can I help you today? Okay. Um. I was wondering, I'm, I'm working on some projects. I just started. I'm, I'm doing um, books, like f photography books and um, some uh, a cookbook. Um, what do you see happening with these projects? Um, I want to sell them on um, Amazon. Yeah, I feel, uh, you know, the first thing I hear is good and better. I don't know which one is good and which one is better, but I feel like they're both going to going to go over. I do feel like you're going to have to do a ton of promoting of them. I do feel like though, mm -hmm. it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be really worth it. Um, just personally for yourself, it's going to be worth it. So I'm hearing full steam ahead, get this project going, get it up and running. Those are the statements that we would give you for this project. And we do feel like that. Don't be, be um, unabashedly, unabashedly like shameless in it. Meaning really, I think what that means is really put it out there, Kavita. Don't be, uh, okay. be just like talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Okay, love? Okay, great. Thank you. You are so welcome, sweetie. I hope that was helpful for you. Yes, thanks. You are welcome. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question um, in the chat. And hey, Heather, how are you? Happy Wednesday. So awesome to see you. Um, sorry, I'm only repeating because the chat moves if there are any messages from my guides <laughs> okay ja um listen i'm going to do the best i can that's not an exact question i don't like answering like if you can give me anything questions because you don't always get what you like I like to answer on a specific topic. That's the way um, Spirit asks me to work. That's what I try to do. So, But since you posted this again, I will try instead of skipping over you again. Um, uh, so the first thing they're saying is don't take things personally. The next thing that they're saying is you have to, you have to work more to move in the direction you want. Uh, don't settle for what is um, in front of you. Put yourself into a challenge mode and don't accept um, peanuts or smaller 
make sure that you are uh, like putting, they're using the statement, the, the pedal to the metal. Um, like they're showing me a runner in a race with the, the hands on the ground and the one foot back getting ready to kick off. And they're saying to make sure, like again, hit the ground, like hit the ground running, get it going. Um, don't put it off. So, you know, I, I want to ask you a question, J.A., is there some venture or something you're thinking of, whether it's your own business or a project or something with whomever you're with that you're uh, something you're promoting? I hear the word promoting or you're wanting to promote. Um, so the, so what i'm hearing is whatever it is for you freaking take off with it i mean if if it if it's if it's a a new business or whatever you know make sure you're financially stable don't quit your day job and balance them make them work i would never give that advice to anybody because real world real bills but whatever it is once you put your energy into it and you go whatever it is if you've been thinking about this or you've just started it put put your energy into it and have the knowing it's going to go where you want it to go ja i hope that is so helpful for you um and that that did answer uh, the message for you and i hope it makes sense. most most of all i hope it um it makes sense for you i really really hope it makes sense for you okay um, 203, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Michelle calling from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Um, let's see. Um, uh, I guess always the top priority is I, I, you know, I'm still looking for a job and I'm just not getting anywhere. Um, Michelle, what what area of work are you wanting to get? I'm an engineer. So oh, I love that. You know what's crazy? Um, oh, I have to think of where it was. Delta. Okay, seriously, I just saw this today. Delta Airlines is hiring. Like they have, if you go to deltahire.com or high, careers at delta.com, whatever it is, they are hiring uh -huh. for all different engineers. I mean, and it's all remote. It's, it's all remote. It's not show up, but Delta has gates everywhere. So I would seriously look oh. into that i would seriously okay. look into that i will <laughs> um I that's will. so crazy uh because i wasn't even gonna watch watch this thing and then it went in and it was saying <laughs> engineer 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 and there were different kinds of engineers all different types of engineers but they were like engineer 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 and the pay was a good so i would say look into that but i'm hearing in um, in a month's time, you are going to have something in front of you. Uh, whatever that means for you, in a month's time, you are going to have something in front of you. Okay, lo okay love? Okay. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you Go so back. much. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, J.A., please let me know if that answer helped you. Uh, let's see. Who is this and what do they want? Um, Holly, may I have a message from my mom, Lindsay, please? And thank you. Absolutely, Holly. The first thing that she's saying is the struggle is over. The struggle is over. Well, at least for her. She felt in life a lot like she was, the, the vision that I am seeing is like 
her climbing a mountain and when she would think she was close to the top like she would only be halfway like <laughs> the mountain would get bigger <laughs> like through life it it wasn't always the easiest life for her or there was something in life that she struggled with throughout a lot of her life and she's saying the struggle is over the other thing that she is saying is that she I hear the words happy and grateful, happy and grateful, whatever that means, happy and grateful. And that there are some things coming in for you. And I see um, gold coins. I see some gold coins and I see them, you know, usually I see them above a person coming down, but they're off a little bit from you. Like you would really have to hold out your hand to catch them, but they're meant for you. But they're right now they're sitting, they're coming in here, but they're going to come to you. I don't know if you understand what that means or why they're coming in here and then coming to you, but that's the way I'm seeing them. I feel like these gold coins are meant for you and they're going to come to you. Um, this could be, and I'm just giving examples. This doesn't mean this is the way it is. Like money's coming in and it's sitting someplace else and then somebody's going to disperse it to you. Or that uh, perhaps you have a job like where you get, for example, uh, you get commissions and they sit and then they get released to you after everything is finalized. So I'm also here, like when it comes like this and then comes to you, it's not like a direct so whatever that means for you, that's where it is. And then also that you are going to have some fun. Oh my gosh, June and July should be so much fun for you. You should be out and about and like I see like a lot of um, possibly um, dancing. I sing like I dance and I dance like I sing. Leave me alone. Um, like uh, some, like what is this little corny dance I'm doing? Uh, I think it's supposed to be like some kind of Latin dance, which I cannot do any sort of Latin dance. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is what I'm getting for you, Holly. I hope even if it's not a Latin dance, it's it's like you're gonna be June and July as long as you're out and about, accept it, accept invitations and have fun with it. And that's what I'm getting for you. Um, love. That is what I'm getting for you. I think um I think 415 is the next caller. Let, let's see, 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Oh, one second, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm cleaning my dishes. <laughs> um, this is Jessica, I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Jessica, how can I, I help you today? Um, can you hear me okay? I can, can you, yes. yes. Okay. How can I help you, love? Okay, thank you. Um, so I was speaking to this woman a couple of days ago, and she was talking to me to me about coming into this group to speak to them. Um, and she wasn't sure if they were going to be open to me coming in um, or not. Um, but I'm wondering if you're picking up anything about that. Like, are these people going to be interested in having me come in to speak? Yes, they will. Um, what I'm hearing for you i'm just hearing absolutely they're going to be interested the topic will be intriguing um don't doubt yourself don't doubt your don't doubt your content just go in like you own it okay don't like what oh, I'm, i love that because yeah i was i love yeah. what i'm really hearing is don't second guess yourself and don't second guess your content okay yeah, you're so right with that, because that's exactly what came up, because she was talking to me about a certain topic, and I was, like, uh, getting a little bit nervous and doing the doubt thing. It's an old pattern. Um, yeah. 
And also they'll pay me for it because I told her I wanted to get paid for it. I mean, obviously I'm not going to go do that for free. Right. So they're going to be open to paying. Yes, they will. Okay. Just, just, you know what, just All know right. if they approach, if they, if they're talking to you about it, they want you and it will turn out well. And people respect what they pay oh. for. They don't always respect what's free. So it's good that you're going to get paid for it. Okay, love. Oh, thank you. Oh, please. I hope this really does work out. <laughs> Keep it, stay positive <laughs> yeah, about it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Yes. Thank you, Tony. I always appreciate your, um, your responses. Thank you. You are so welcome. I have an amazing rest of the night. You know what, you guys, I just like scrolled down to see some, to see if J.A. responded and J.A. did. Thank you so much and said it all made sense. And I love that. Thank you, J.A. Um, and there are so many questions. It overwhelmed me for a second. I can't even scroll to see how many callers there are. But I'm going to get through as many as I can. Um, so please be patient. I, I know um, I don't always get to get to, I don't always get to get to every question, but or caller, but I am going to try. Remember, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And if you do have a question, you must push the one button on your keypad so that I know you have, um, you would have, that you have a question. Otherwise, I think you're just listening in. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, would love a message from my aunt Joe if you if drawn to me. Okay, I take the questions in order as I can. I might lose my place and uh, forgive me if I do. Okay, Aunt Joe, uh, for Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Sorry. The first thing she says is you were one of her favorites. She actually says you were you were her favorite. You two were quite similar, I'm getting. There were some similarities be between the two of you. And I'm actually hearing, she doesn't mean this in a negative way, but you could have been her daughter. Um, not actually, but she's just saying you could have been her. Like she, I don't know if she means like the way the two of you acted was so similar or your characteristics were so similar but she definitely loved you enough that you could have been her daughter. She's also saying, don't, uh, I, she's singing that song. Don't cry for me, Argentina, or that song. Don't, she's not singing it, but that song is coming in. And she, I get the feeling she was, her energy is so light and uh, verbose or vi vivacious. She could have at times, like she liked to joke and like be really larger than life or uh, I just get that essence from her. And I get that she really wanted you to stand I'm going to say this two different ways. Stand on your own or stand on what you wanted in life and not back down um, to go for what you wanted. I feel like she wanted you to be very strong willed um, and not cave to what other people might have wanted. If this makes sense, Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer, I'm sorry I'm saying that. I'm, I can be such a little goofball sometimes. Please let me know. Um, I hope that message, and of course, and of course she loves you. And of course, of course she loves you. Okay, I'm going to go to, I hope I did not do 954. 954, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Mary calling from Florida. Hey. Nice to hear you again. Absolutely. How um, can I? I'm having, yeah, go ahead. Having a lot of difficulty in a domestic situation. And I'm just wondering if you see any resolution or things straightening out in any way. You know, I, you know, Mary, uh, I 
I'm hearing a song and I'm going to, I'm going to try to do the song quickly. Um, I think it's, I want to say Fleetwood Mac, but I could be wrong. Uh, lover players only love you when they're playing thunder only happens. Oh, that was horrible. When it's raining, players only love you when they're playing. For some reason, that song will summarize your situation. What I'm hearing is, um, it's a standoff and either someone's got a cave but it does both of you are are not in a that it, there's not i don't know if it's both but there's not a position for a for someone to cave um i feel, there's like a, some stubbornness going on but also a financial situation that will not let this whatever um this is like a <clears throat> excuse my my voice this is almost like a damned if i do damned if i don't damned if i will damned if i won't situation where it seems as though you don't have choices and you're both you're just you're waiting for the other to cave does that make sense mary Waiting, I didn't get the last word, waiting for the... The other person to like cave or go or something like that. Is that, is that somewhat accurate? Um, yeah, kind of, but um, there's a financial issue involved because whoever leaves or if both leave, there's... There's nowhere to go at this point. There's, okay. it's, it's a financial, you know, connection that. Okay. Neither one so, has an answer to if they if they decide to take the high road. Okay. It's, it sounds good, but where are you going to go? Right. And so I think I, I feel that my partner is is having mental problems and he refuses to get help. And it seems to be escalating. And I have physical issues where right now I can't make a move either way. Okay, so, Mary, <laughs> Mary, it's kind of, Mary, you know, I'm going to, I only have like a minute left in the show and I really want to answer your question. So I'm going to do my best, but I have to, first of all, it seems like your partner could be 90 seconds. Uh, see, I wasn't lying, Mary. I was not lying. Um, it seems like your partner, what I'm sensing could be some sundowners or um, dementia or whatever coming in. That's not uh -huh. an excuse. One of the things I would do, um, well, there's so much and it's so difficult is uh, even though you can't move, just be out of the home, walking uh -huh. around, doing what you can as much as you can. I don't feel like... I feel, what I feel like, and it's it's really difficult to rush this message, but I feel like if one of you leave, it's going to either be to like uh, assisted living or something like that. So be patient, hold on tight, spend as much time out of the home as possible and allow yourself to uh, call in help. If he will not go someplace to get checked, you can call in um social workers or home health care workers or call his doctor and he, see if somebody can't come and in the evening when he's probably more you know and have them check on that and everybody um I, I, oh my gosh that just gives me so much anxiety i'm so sorry if i did not get to your call or your question i will for sure be back monday at noon but i'm going to try to do a show this weekend i love you all so much have a very amazing day